What's going on everyone? You're watching RD Motoring and in this video I'm going to show you how to change oil in your 1998 to 2019 Yamaha V-Star 650. The first thing you'll want to do is move the bike to a level surface. I like to keep around a large cardboard sheet specifically for oil changes. You don't necessarily need one, but it helps if you make a mess. Next, you'll want to start up your bike and let it run for a bit. This warms up the oil and allows it to flow easier. Since most V-Stars don't have a temperature gauge, you can check by tapping the engine case. Once it's warm, you're good to go. Turn off the bike and locate the drain plug under the left side. Loosen that with a 17 millimeter wrench before sliding in your drain pan, as it might not give you enough room. The V-Star, like a lot of other cruisers, sits very low, so you may have to prop the bike up a bit or use a low profile drain pan like I have here. This one was purchased on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Once you have that set, feel free to remove the plug. While that's draining, come over to the right side of the bike so you can start removing the cover for the oil filter. The first plate comes off with three bolts and you'll use a four millimeter Allen wrench. This is just a beauty cover, so you don't have to worry about any oil coming out once this is removed. Just be aware of the location of each bolt as they vary in length. The next plate, however, is the actual oil filter cover. This plate comes off with five bolts and this time you'll need a five millimeter Allen wrench. And a trick I learned to make cleanup a bit easier is to lay a sheet of aluminum foil over your exhaust and create a channel for the oil to flow. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a good tip to share. Once you remove this plate, you'll have easy access to the filter so you can slide it right out. For the new filter, I'm using KNN's KN145. Any reputable brand will do here, just make sure it's the correct part number for the V-Star 650. It is a cartridge filter and only goes in one way, so make sure the end that sticks out goes in first. Next, you can replace the first cover. Make sure the O-ring is in good shape and line up the holes. Once that is done, you can put back on the last cover. By now, your oil should be done draining, so go ahead and put back in the drain plug. Now it's time to fill in the new oil. Make sure you use a motorcycle-specific oil with the 10W40 viscosity. Motorcycle oil is designed for use with a wet clutch, and other oils that are not may cause your clutch to slip, which in turn can create other issues. The service manual lists two different amounts of oil depending on the type of change you're doing. If you're just draining the oil without replacing the filter, you only need 2.7 quarts. However, if you're changing the filter as well, then you'll need 3 quarts. Remove the fill cap and use a small funnel while you pour the oil in. Make sure you support it as the design of the fill won't allow the funnel to sit deep enough and support itself. Once that is done, put back on the fill cap and wipe down your bike near the drain plug and filter to clean up any oil residue. At this point, it's good to start up the bike and let it run for a bit to cycle the oil. Look around the bike for any leaks, and if you don't see any, you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to change oil in your Yamaha V-Star. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like and consider subscribing for more automotive and motorcycle content. Take care, everyone.